Thousands of people will be traveling back in time to rural America's past, thanks to the annual Itasca Region Pioneer Farmer Show. Arshirel Moore has a look at the event's history for this week's In Focus. Every year, during the third weekend in August, the Lake Itasca Region Pioneer Farmers will pull out all their vintage tractors and old-time machinery for a one-of-a-kind show. We do here at the Pioneer Farmers is try to preserve the heritage of the logging and farming days of the, the early days in uh, lots of old tractors, lots of old sawmills, and uh, we have a lot of different demonstrations. We are very lucky with the Pioneer Farmers to have lots of volunteers. It takes many people to keep the grounds updated to keep the lawns mowed. LIRPF is dedicated to the preservation and display of historic rural logging equipment. And the tools aren't just for gazing. Visitors have a chance to get up close and personal with the tools. It's just amazing how many people are willing to take the time to bring their equipment. I mean, it takes a lot to haul this equipment in and then to be here to ride through and the parades and but, you know, they do like to show them off. The machines that can be found here display the history of Minnesota going back well over 100 years. For example, this machine used to be in Cass Lake, Minnesota, before it moved to Redby. It was built in 1900. Another big part of the show is education and introducing the old ways to the next generation. Teaching the younger people uh, how things were done in the early days when the people first come here and started breaking the land and sawing the timber. The show runs through Sunday on the Lake Itasca Region Pioneer Farmers Grounds near Itasca State Park. One thing about the show is each year there's something new. Organizers are constantly building on. I've been president I keep saying we need to maintain our showgrounds that we have. Every year somebody volunteers to help us build another building. We are in the process now of building a barn so that next year hopefully we'll be able to have animals. Reporting in Lake Itasca with this week's In Focus, Sheryl Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.